All right, y'all. It's AGP here, and it's Wednesday, so you know it's time for another AGP video. <laughs> I got it. Anyways, um, so y'all know yesterday we got this, finally got a picture. Sony has pretty much left us in the dark with this PS5 for the most part. We don't really know what's coming out on it as far as games go. We don't really know what the design is. Everything has been speculation, but obviously we've had a couple of ideas about what it looks like. Uh, but we finally get something from Sony that is confirmed, which is the controller, which is really nice. We really appreciate y'all, especially during now. Um, it's hilarious because Jason Schreer from Kotaku was like, so this is what we're doing now. This is what we do. We just drop random controller pictures on a Tuesday during a quarantine. And Sony's in there like, yeah, that's what we do. So obviously we're here to talk about the controller today you know what it's supposed to look like and what's supposed to be the features of it that have been confirmed and later i'll probably make a part two video about some of the rumors going around about what should be in it anyways so yeah see this controller um it's called the dual sense controller which is really dual shock 5 but dual sense controller because it's supposed to be way more immersive than any other controller that they've made before it's black and white so you know the color scheme is obviously different now this could extend to the fact that the ps5 on launch might be black and white so i would keep that in mind uh so the color is the first thing we all see with the color it's black and white the light bar that was on top is now on the sides of the touchpad so now it's surrounding the touchpad so that looks kind of dope if you have noticed too the d-pad which is the arrows and which is the directional pad if y'all didn't know but the d-pad and the colors on the shapes are actually all pretty much black and white and or grayish you know, if you want to call it that which is unusual the d-pad's always pretty gray or black and white but the shapes pad is always has different colors you know circle x square triangle where what they were pink blue green and orange they're not that anymore i <laughs> think so that's cool uh y'all heard before and they said that the haptic feedback situation for the controllers is confirmed so that's great. So you know the haptic feedback is supposed to give more of an immersive feel where it will not feel the same playing a car racing game, playing Madden, or playing Call of Duty. They should all have different feels. It won't just be the regular rumble technology that we're used to, which is kind of awesome. Uh, we don't really know what and how in-depth it is, and I feel like we won't know no until the full list of specs comes out, but also feeling it will be different than reading it, of course. The triggers have a resistance situation going on. They're adaptive triggers, so it makes it easier for developers to change up the feel of in-game events possibly you know um they might show more resistance these are have already been incorporated in this in this prototype so it might feel more resistant in certain game events than in other game events which is really cool to me you know that's that's pretty dope it'll have a built-in microphone uh, so you don't have to wear a headset if you don't want to i personally probably still will because it does still support that if you were worried don't be it does still support having a plug-in for your headset but it will have a built-in microphone so you don't have to use it if you don't want to the share button is no longer a share button it is now called a create button that's the one here on our left you know because we're looking at it uh and on the right you see the three lines which just is just a menu you know it's an easy menu one so options menu start all those are the same but the create button will be different than the share button and it'll have the same things you can do the same things with the create button but they said there will be more things that they will determine and let us know at a later date for what the create button will include so that is pretty awesome so that's that's what we have so far as the way for what it looks like right now and some of the features of what it looks like you can see it all here you see that the ps button in the middle is no longer a print on on a button it, it really looks like the actual button is shaped in the PlayStation sign, which is also really cool. This is supposed to come out alongside the PlayStation 5 in between October and December, so you know holiday season, which is dope, which is when the Xbox Series X comes out and the PS5 is supposed to come out. Hopefully we don't get any delays for those. Our fingers are crossed, of course, and we hope we don't get any more delays for any games such as The Last of Us Part Two. Hopefully Ghost of Shima doesn't get delayed or Cyberpunk 2077, but we will see. Hopefully that does not happen. But anyways, that aside, that is what we have right now. This is what the controller is. This is what it looks like. It, it looks dope. I'm really curious to see what the, the feel, because they're putting so much emphasis on the feel, is really something that I, 
I want to know what it really feels like because you can kind of you kind of think about what it may feel like just by looking at it, but it's nice to actually know what it feels like. It obviously looks a lot different than all the other DualShock controllers that they've had in the past, and they've even said that the PS4 one was the most different, and now this one is way different than any of those four, any of those previous four. The price for the controller it has not been determined yet either. So, you know now, right now, our DualShock 4 controllers are like $65 when they're not on sale for 40 which is usually on like a Black Friday sale or a holiday sale. We're hoping that it won't be too much more, but they're saying that it could possibly be more. It could maybe come up to $10 more. I was worried about that when the system was first announced, or even actually when I got my first PS4 and I realized that a new controller was 65 I was like, damn, for the next console, how much is it going to cost? We don't know yet, but hopefully it won't be much more than that. The controller is supposed to be like lighter you know and it's supposed to fit better in your hand so this will be a new experience and so the last thing i want to say is just you know the battery life the battery life is supposed to be good again it hasn't been determined how long it will be hopefully that means somewhere between three to four hours before having to charge it you still have if you see on the top here you still have the usb port for charging it some people some rumors and like i said i'll make another video about that probably for friday or maybe tomorrow we'll see however i'm feeling but You'll see that the USB port is still there to charge it. I assume that's for charging it just like it was on the DualShock 4. But obviously there's there's adapters for wireless charging, so I'm sure there will be more than that. This black and white color is just when the game launches, which means the PS5 again will probably be black and white. There will be many more colors later on. There's over 30 or 40 colors for the DualShock 4 now, so there will be more colors for this one too so it will be customizable just like the last ones were yeah so that's that's all we have for today i enjoy this i'm excited i hope y'all just as excited as i am just like i tell you every time while we're in this quarantine everybody stay safe you know stay inside don't uh, expose yourself to anything that could possibly cause you to contract the virus you know just take care of yourselves and everyone around you all right but i'm gonna catch y'all next time all right don't forget to like comment and subscribe please subscribe and join the agp fam you know we we, we love y'all we i love the squad that i have the fam i have now and i hope it just grows but i'm gonna catch y'all later all right peace Mommy, here we go. Raspberry, grape, cherry, put it away.